So 17.85 million. So that is drastically increased. We paid 2.5. Hey guys, and welcome back to more No Man's Sky. This is a different type of video. I hope this is gonna stay short, but basically it's about a couple of things that we've been doing over the last few days to make nanites money and earn ourselves some augmentation upgrades or storage augmentations that we are actually gonna use to also help us to continue the cycle of making more money, making more nanites and rinse and repeat without having to leave and go, without going to our chlorine farm to refill our money. Now, in general, you want to have a little bit of a capital, I suppose. So what I've been doing to get some starter money at the beginning of the game was I unlocked uh, the medium refiner, which has two slots, and we started multiplying chlorine with oxygen and then starting to selling the surplus of chlorine um, at a trading station. And you can do that with the beginner ship. We did it with the beginner ship, absolutely no problem. You just need a couple of slots and you just need to every now and then go to the station, get more oxygen. But that's a different story. We did that actually, we did cover that at the beginning of another video, but there's plenty of videos out there already. And also there's a lot of videos actually covering a few of those steps as well in here that I came across that were older, but all these methods still work. I just wanted to share my experience with you guys in this video. And if anybody is new to No Man's Sky and is playing this in survival mode as well, especially with the smaller stack sizes, you might appreciate uh, this way of making money in nonets as well. Now the main method here is buying ships and scrapping them, but what you're looking for is cheap, affordable ships, mainly explorers. They seem to be the cheapest I found. So you buy it, you scrap it, say it's a million, and then you're gonna get about 700 or 750,000. I think you get 700,000 back, it's about 70%. So you only spend 300,000 per ship. Now what you're looking for is when you scrap that ship is obviously the modules, so you can sell them for nanites. But what you're looking for is storage augmentations. This is all part of the cycle here. And storage augmentations have a higher chance, obviously, to drop from A class. And I think they have even a higher chance of dropping in multiples from S classes. Now, the system I'm in just happens to be one of the systems that was close to my starter area that I had to go to for one of the missions that are part of the story. And it happens to be a three star system. And it has one exotic every now and then landing and one S class. Um, they're not first waves or whatever you call it. They're actually after a while, but in the meantime, while you wait, you can just like keep flipping A classes and even B classes if you have some spare money. So the first thing what we're going to do is to reset everything. I believe that's how it works when you get into a space station and you've been here for a while. We looked at a lot of ships to reset the whole uh, waves of everything you are going to get into a ship out of your ship. So you have a safe point, a fast safe point, and then you're just going to go and reload your auto save. So this should now reset everything fresh like you just arrived at the station. Now I'm in a Viking system, but of course for explorers, the best system that would be, look at this, this is the shuttle for 1.6 million. That is actually very good. It's an A-class. So it would be the Corvax, um, would be very good for explorers. Now this shuttle I can afford it, but again, if you're a little bit tight, you might not be able to afford it, but um, you're looking for those explorers because they're quite cheap. So let's make an offer on this. And for me, anything below 3 million is absolutely fine at this stage. So I don't really want to go above it. But what we do is we're going to spend 1.69 million on this. We're going to buy it. There's actually an Explorer and it's a C-Class. So we don't have to worry about that. There's another ship coming in. Let's quickly see what that is. An A-Class. Oh, also a shuttle. Okay. I'm going to actually take this as well. But um, yeah, we might as well do a twofer here. <laughs> So again, it takes money to make money, but I just want to basically demo to you the whole point of this because we will be getting augmentations and then we're going to use them on specific ships to make our money back plus extra. So we're going to negotiate. Now, before I do this, I'm going to actually scrap everything in the last ship that I had. There you go. You can have up to six ships. I only have two that I own. So we're going to put that away. There we go. And then we're going to buy this as well. And the reason I destroy all these things is because I think you get a little bit of extra money from it because you will always get 70% of the value of the ship. So here we go. We're getting for this one 1.4 million back. So you're getting most of your money back. So let's scrap it. Then we'll put everything in your inventory. There we go. And if we look in our exosuit, we got loads of things and we also got the hyperdrive module. Now we're quickly going to swap into the other ship that we bought. There we go. And we're going to scrap this as well. For this one, we're gonna get back 1.185 million. Let's scrap it, there we go. Now we're gonna to head to this merchant here that is right beside us, go to the modules and sell the modules. And here we go. We're gonna get nanites was two of each. So we got about a thousand something nanites. 
and we didn't get any storage augmentations we started with five so that kind of sucks but we get our money back and uh, what do we have here that's an a-class 15.5 million definitely not worth it and then i'm gonna sell it to this guy so this is something you guys mentioned in the comments actually as well usually i wait for pilots because selling to the market eventually lowers all the prices of everything and you end up with less uh, money back but i think this guy is independent not connected to any of the terminals so i emptied every single thing in my inventory intentionally so i can just always with good conscience sell everything except the augmentations and there you go we got most of our money back we lost very little so let's have a quick look here there's another a class for 1.5 million let's do this there we go let's buy immediately fly up here to sell everything so here we go let's scrap it and for this one we actually got two storage augmentations which made up for not getting any in the last two ships so there we go three ships two augmentations so now we're just gonna keep doing that until we um, come across a ship where it's worth it to spend those augmentations on and also just to show you this um, this ship is giving me 455,000 in scrap value and if I destroy this which is an extra bit of money I mean this here is 25,000 this here is 300 the other one 200 so it's an extra 25,000 basically 26,000 and some have more to dismantle than others we're still gonna get back in the scrap menu 455,000 so there you go that hasn't changed now after doing this for a while and you have you need at least six augmentations because that's the lowest i ever could find but obviously preferably you have more so i have nine now so this is an a-class ship that just landed and um, the ship itself is only 2.5 million in the greatest scheme of things this is very little but it has 19 slots with one two three four five six upgradable slots now once we put these six in we could unlock the next row which could increase the value drastically and that is how we make our money back so we right now we have 40.8 million we started at 44.388 million so we we basically are about four million down at this stage we have nine augmentations in our ex suit and we're going to buy the ship now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same again we're going to scrap this we're going to scrap this and that goes into our inventory that's the extra money we make from that there we go we're gonna head up here now instead of scrapping it straight away we're going to go into the upgrade now now we bought this uh, ship for what was it 2.5 something like that now we're gonna apply the augmentation to it one two three four five six now when you go back you get an extra row now look what happens to the value of the ship once we have the row expanded it is now 17.85 million oh is that the a is that the s class now so 17.85 million so that is drastically increased we pay 2.5 now if we're gonna go and scrap it we're gonna get 12.5 million for it. We're gonna scrap this. And as you can see, we made all the money back that we just spent plus extra. And in the process of doing all that, we also made, let me see, I started with 8.8 thousand nanites. We made um, nearly 6,000, so 5,800 nanites in the process. Plus, we now made a profit as well. We're going to sell everything we just got, except, of course, any of the augmentations we have left. Ah, I just sold the augmentations. It resorts sometimes, so there you go. I just uh, screwed up. <laughs> so there you go, I accidentally sold them, but you can see we're at 51 million. The augmentations themselves are worth, um, I think, 100,000, so that would have been 300,000 that you can deduct. Um, but as you can see, we made at least six seven million profit so and then you just continue doing this you're gonna continue doing this cycle over and over make nanites um, make money and um, every now and then find this special ship that you can upgrade and sometimes you find the ship that you can upgrade with six augmentations early just buy it and keep it in your inbox basically and leave it here and just use it as soon as you have the six augmentations
Did you hear that sound there a second ago? I see if I can show it again um, and remember to put it in. That's the sound you hear when this baby lands. And this can come in different sizes. Actually, this is coming at a beautiful size, um, 5 million. The best size I found was when it was 8 million worth, because that means it had just enough slots that I only needed seven augmentations. And it went from 8 million to 21 million or something like that. It was ridiculous. So this is the exotic that lands here. It's a nice, cute little thing. I call it the minnow. I know it's like not the same word, but well, it's kind of play, a play on it. And as you can see, it needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to upgrade, which in total would come to a million. But even putting 10 in, leave that in your storage, put it in your inbox or just flip it as well. Absolutely fine without upgrading it. But if you get it at around eight or nine million, it only needs about five or six augmentations. And again, increasing the value dramatically, especially for um, an exotic. So we're just going to buy that. And we're just going to flip it as well. And actually flipping it, you can see how many uh, you get S-Class modules, which might actually be worth it also for your ship. And from the exotic alone, we got, um, this was from the last one I scrapped, we got three S-Class ones. Now I'm going to keep the shield one. I'm gonna get rid of the hyperdrive and the pulse engine. There you go, very good bargain. And we're gonna keep the S-Class one and we're gonna sell the rest of our inventory. Not selling the augmentations right now, which actually were three augmentations this time on the exotic alone. And I think that is actually every time three. I'm not sure if that is uh, RNG, but so far every time I scrapped it, I got three augmentations. And just as a side note, once you have a couple of million, once you have like more than 16 million around 16 million if you see this type of fighter for about 15 million this is the big money maker because this requires one two three four five six augments only and it will unlock the last slot unlocking the last slot will set it to 61 million so definitely um gonna make sure you're gonna keep an eye out for that when you can afford it and I'm assuming that would be the same with the haulers, except it would even get more money. So this one is a 50 million A-class, so I'm assuming he's missing a lot of augmentations. Not just a few. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, it's only five. That is interesting. So let's see how much that actually would go for. With the fighter, I know it goes to 61 million, but with a hauler, I'm actually not sure. Let's try that out. Let's scrap all that, of course, because it has absolutely zero to do with the value of the ship. Let's upgrade it. We would get 10.8 million back out of our 15. So we spent 15.5, something like that. Let's apply the augmentation. One, two, three, four, five only. And it unlocked the last slot. So let's see what the value is of this hauler. Is it 52 million? That is worth it. You are talking literally exchanging five augmentations for an extra 40 million. <laughs> that is insane. Well, not quite 40 million, but just under 40 million. So selling that uh, claim 36.5 million. And you can just swing that in roundabouts. Here you go, we're already at over 20,000 nanites. And in total, I think we're going to be breaching the 60 million potentially. So let's see that. We probably also got some uh, augmentations back. Sell. Make sure we don't sell our augmentations this time. Be very careful what you click on. I don't see any augmentations. Oh, we got two back. There you go. Oh, we got one back because we had one left. And we are at 66 million. I've been doing this for an hour now. I've started at 44.3 million with 8,800 nanites. I'm now at 66 million and 20,000 nanites. So I, sh I left a couple of examples in, especially with the haulers and all that. So basically in summary, the way I see it is you need only about five, six million to start. Go to a system where you have a lot of explorers or any system and just wait. Three star system is obviously preferred because you have more chance of getting A classes and S classes and a Korvax system would be good because it has more explorers or a higher chance of explorers. Explorers can come in as cheap as an A class for literally 
a million, one, one million two hundred fifty thousand, but you get seventy percent back. So you're not really spending a lot of money just in exchange for some nanites. And every now and then, when you have a couple of augmentations, like six, I think from starting from six on, well, as we saw with the hauler, it was actually five. That was the first time I've seen that. You can actually look out for a ship, then go negotiate, check out how many augmentations you put in, and if you unlock that next row, make sure you click back on the augmentations to see that next row highlighted and then it increases the value of your ship to the next tier and you can make a lot of profit basically going back and forth in your cycle making money making nanites and so on now if this exotic is something that you're interested in yourself this is the coordinates of the system you can see the cliffs on the bottom left just pause pause the video and note them down and you should see this exotic come in around the half an hour mark it definitely showed up every time when i was doing it i think around the half an hour mark it was half an hour for me today when i recorded but it's approximately the same time every time so I'm gonna leave this here. I hope this video helped you out a lot if you're new to No Man's Sky, especially if you're playing in Survivor with the slowest, with the lower stacks and you find it hard to make money uh, because you can't sell so many stacks at one time. If you're already a No Man's Sky veteran, ignore the video. It didn't help you probably at all. It's just repeated old news. But either way, I hope you had a good time with the video. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming and sometimes you just get lucky that you get an s class when you have enough augmentations to upgrade it to increase its value from the 18 million it is to 71 million